Hello everyone, here we are going to continue with exercise 13.1 of the chapter Understanding Quadrilateral. We have already did till the question number 10 in our previous videos. Now let's see question number 11. Now here in question number 11, we have been given with the quadrilateral A, B, C, D in which D, B is a diagonal over here which is going to divide this angle into two parts that is X and 50. Then the rest of the angles have been given in the form of algebraic expression that is 3X plus 4. 3x plus 10 and 5x plus 8. Now very first of all we have to find the value of x. For that we know the sum of all interior angles of the quadrilateral is 360 degree. Therefore the sum of all of this will be 360 degree. So as the sum of all interior angles of the quadrilateral equals to 360 degree therefore 3x plus 4, 3x plus 10, 5x plus 8 and x plus 50 equals to 360 degree. We have taken 3x plus 4 from here, 3x plus 10 from here, 5x plus 8 from here and x plus 50 from these two. Now we are going to solve this and we get 12x plus 72 equals to 360. Now we are going to send this on the other side and this will become 12x equals to 360 minus 72. That is 12x equals to 288 and x will be equals to 288 upon 12. That is x equals to 24 degree. This was our first part to be calculated. Then we have to find the angle DAB. So angle DAB equals to 3x plus 4 that is 3 into 24 plus 4. 3 into 24 is 72 plus 4 that is 76 degree. And after that we have to find the angle ADB. So in triangle ADB we know this angle and this angle. And we are going to find this angle with the help of the angle sum property of triangle. And here we get angle ADB plus angle DAB plus angle ABD equals to 180 degree by angle sum property of triangle. ADB we have to calculate. So angle ADB plus angle DAB we have just calculated as 76 degree and angle ABD we know that is 50 degree. And this is equals to 180. Now angle ADB equals to 180 degree minus 126 degree and angle ADB equals to 54 degree as answer. Now in question number 12 first part we have been given with this quadrilateral. Let name this one as A, B, C and D. Now here we have been given with the three angles and we have to find the fourth one. Now we know the sum of all the angles of the quadrilateral is 360 degree. So therefore we are going to use that formula to find the value of angle X. So as the sum of all interior angles of the quadrilateral equals to 360 degree, therefore angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D equals to 360 degree and this will be 140 degree plus 100 plus X plus 40 equals to 360 degree. And that implies X equals to 360 minus the sum of all that is 280 and the x will be equals to 80 degree as answer. Now let's move to the second part of the question number 12. Here in this question again we are having a quadrilateral. Let's name this one as A, B, C and D. Here this is perpendicular. So this one is 90 degree. Similarly this will also be a 90 degree. So we are having the three angles of the quadrilateral and we have to find the fourth one. As the sum of all interior angles of the quadrilateral is 360 degree. Therefore, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D equals to 360 degree. Here angle A is 90 degree plus B is 60 degree plus 110 degree plus angle X equals to 360 degree. Now solving this we get X equals to 360 minus 260 that is X equals to 100 degree as answer. Now let's see the third part of the question number 12. Here in this one we are having this figure in which this one is 90 degree, this one is 110, this is 83 degree and we have to find the value of this x. Very first of all we are going to find the value of this angle. Let this one be angle A and name this whole quadrilateral as A, B, C, D and very first of all we are going to find the value of A with the help of the sum of all interior angles of quadrilateral. Now the sum of all interior angles of the quadrilateral equals to 360 degree. Therefore angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D equals to 360 degree. 
that is 90 degree plus 110 degree plus 83 degree plus angle A equals to 360 degree. Now on solving this we get A equals to 360 degree minus 283 that implies A equals to 77 degree. Now we see that A and X both are linear pairs. So with the help of the linear pair property we can find the value of X. And here we see A plus X equals to 180 degree by linear pair. Now placing the value of A that is 77 degree plus X equals to 180 degree. That is X equals to 180 degree minus 77. So X equals to 103 degree as answer. Now let's go with question number 30. Here in this question we have a heptagon has three equal angles each of 120 degree and four equal angles. Find the size of equal angles. Now let the four equal angles be x each. As we know the sum of all interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree. So for the heptagon it will be 7 minus 2 into 180 degree. Also it has been given that three of the angle is 120 degree and four are equal and we have supposed the four equal angles be x. Therefore it will be 3 into 120 plus 4 into x equals to 7 minus 2 that is 5 into 180. Now on solving this this will be 360 plus 4x equals to 900 and here 4x will be equals to 900 minus 360. So 4x equals to 540 and x will be equals to 540 upon 4 that is x equals to 135 degree. So each equal angle is of 135 degree as answer. Now let's see question number 14. Here in this question we are having the ratio between the exterior angle and the interior angle of a regular polygon is 1 is to 5. First of all we have to find the measure of each exterior angle then measure of each interior angle and then the number of side of a polygon. Now let exterior angle be x and interior angle be 5x. As we know the sum of exterior angle and interior angle is 180 degree therefore x plus 5x equals to 180 degree that is 6x equals to 180 degree and x will be equals to 180 degree upon 6. Now x will be equals to 30 degree therefore exterior angle equals to x equals to 30 degree and interior angle equals to 5x equals to 5 into 30 that is 150 degree. So here number of sides equals to 360 upon exterior angle. So 360 upon 30 degree and on solving this we get 12. So we have 12 sides in this polygon. Now let's go with question number 15. Here in this question we have each interior angle of a regular polygon is double of its exterior angle. Find the number of sides in the polygon. So let exterior angle be x and therefore interior angle will be equals to 2x. Now we know the sum of exterior angle and interior angle is of 180 degree. Therefore x plus 2x equals to 180 degree. That is 3x equals to 180 degree and x will be equals to 180 upon 3. So this will be 60 degree at the value of x which will be your exterior angle. Therefore exterior angle equals to 60 degree. Now with the help of this exterior angle we can find the number of sides of this polygon. For the number of sides equals to 360 upon exterior angle that is equals to 360 upon 60. This will be equals to 6 sides. That's all for this video. Thank you.